What's up guys? When it comes to building worlds in Unreal, the hardest challenge has always been creating entire cities. Until now. I found a plugin that lets you precisely generate whole cities in seconds. Almost like playing City Skylines right inside Unreal's editor. It's insanely easy to use. The plugin is called CDBLD and in this video, we'll take a quick look at what it can do and how you can start building your own entire cities with it. You can check it out through the link in the description. With that said, let's get started. Alright, so if I go up into the selection mode, as you can see, we have a new mode, which is City Builder. As you can see, we have a whole bunch of new widgets, which is super cool. So, first of all, we have the General tab, where we can go ahead and add kits into our level in this case as you can see we have three different kits we have the modern city miami biscuit modern and probably as time goes there will be more kids coming up which is pretty cool now i want to mention that you also have the ability to create your own kits which is amazing with your own meshes and style which is gonna be crazy good for many devs that want to create their own style of city so for this example, let's go ahead and use modern city. So let's go ahead and just add this city to the current map with literally one click. And so there we go. Now we have the city kit modern city added in our level. So now it is time to start creating our roads and buildings, which is the cool stuff. So as you can see, we have another tab for our roads and we have a bunch of different road tools. Now in this overview, I'm not gonna go in depth in all of the tools like the Muller roads or optimization or things like that. I'm gonna go into the generic road tool just to go ahead and paint roads. But if you wanna see more content than that, let me know down in the comments below. So as you can see, the first thing that we can select is the road preset. We have a bunch of them. In this case, let's go ahead and select this two lane A sidewalks, use as an example. And then we have a view options as you can see, we can literally align to the landscape, which is really cool. We also have things as the elevation offset and a lot of different layers for our landscape. Imagine that we had grass. Well, it would essentially remove the grass, etc. with this configuration, which you can just, you know, check out. So if we now click on draw, we enter into the drawing mode. And as you can see, I see the road highlighted in my level, which is really cool. And we have a list of all the shortcuts. So, this is as simple, I just coming up and starting to paint. Boom, and boom. <laughs> like if this was CD Skylines. As you can see, we have a whole road. So now I can continue, and if I hold Shift, I can also create curves, which is simply amazing. And as you can see, with literally two seconds, I have created a whole road which is really cool now this doesn't end here because what i can do is go ahead and with the middle mouse wheel i can just increase the elevation and as you can see literally create <laughs> which is amazing like bridges this is amazing i mean look what i'm building over here in two seconds like a whole damn city <laughs> crazy right so let's go back to the little elevation and let's go ahead and make a little kind of block over here because now it is time to add buildings into our roads. Now, a quick thing that I want to mention is that if we go to settings, we have here a simple view, which gets rid of all this UI and adds the simple buttons as if we were playing a game. <laughs> this is amazing. I can literally just go here select the road that I want to build and boom I'm building like if I was in a video game I literally love this UI so much so what we can do is go up here into the blocks section and we have different tools to build this so we can go ahead and create a new block and set it manually or use this really cool tool which is from edges so if I select this tool if I highlight the edges on the road the plugin will automatically detect where it can build blocks. So I can literally select this edge, hold control, click again to close the loop, and then press accept. And now as you can see, 
it literally created a new block which is essentially a district from the edges of the road and is fitting perfectly as you can see it's literally insane so with this new block selected what i can do is assign a district preset uh, let's go ahead and for example use downtown high rise click on assign as you can see now this block has the downtown high rise assigned which is really cool and it also changed the text so we can see on the viewport and with that said we can click on generate base and in a couple of seconds you will see that we have whole buildings in here which is insane as you can see it matched the outline and edges of the road which is insane and on top of that we have a whole parking with cars inside of it <laughs> this is like magic honestly i'm still very very amazed with this plugin i have literally no words for this this is amazing this is top tier technology in unreal one thing that i want to mention is that once you generate your block with all of your buildings it is good practice to also click on generate set dressing this will go ahead and add some props in the you know tops it will also go ahead and ensure that you know parking spaces are spawned correctly and overall use some you know checks uh so everything is used you know neat which is great so there we go which is a recommended thing to do as you can see we have cool stuff over here which is yo this is amazing i'm not gonna lie so i can literally go ahead and expand this even more so i can go ahead and select again the two lane and start to go ahead and create you know more roads right and more blocks let's say so i can join this and it will create a little intersection here like if this was like city skylines once again which is amazing and i can go ahead and just start to create blocks over here right so i can go ahead go back to the blocks from edges hold control and click to close the loop as you can see click on set to generate the block and then assign for example you know let's do um townhouses right assign generate and as you can see now we have a different set of houses which is amazing <laughs> this is mind-blowing let's do this one more time so select here the edges go ahead and click on accept we have a new block we can now go ahead and select the downtown low rise for example assign and generate and now you will see boom we have new buildings which is again insane with parking and everything now this is one of the kits which is the modern city kits but there's more kits like for example the miami which i mean changes the buildings and everything which is really cool so overall i can go here and start to create my own cities which is a thing that i literally love now the last thing that i want to showcase is how you can add civilians in literally seconds to all of your streets so the first thing we need to do is go up into edit right settings and then search for zone graphs so yes this plugin will use mass ai for the streets uh civilians which is going to be amazing for performance and everything so first of all let's go ahead and create a new uh, tag over here called cd bld for example and then i am going to go ahead and create a new lane profile and name this use cd you know what i'm saying so add a new lane and then another one and this will be cd bld cdbld and then also backward so i'm going ahead and speeding through this because this is simply an overview but you get the idea we can create our own lanes with mass ai as if you would you know in a normal project but then i can go ahead and open up the city builder mode and then as you can see we have a traffic tab and we have three different types of traffic in this plugin which is amazing so for civilians for road and for rail so yes we could also add cars and everything but you know that's a bit more complex so i will leave that for another occasion but for civilians we are gonna simply just go ahead and select for example these two um sidewalks and make sure that we have walkable on which is a simple variable and now we can go ahead and make sure that the tag is set as cdbld and the lane profile as cd and then with those selected we can click on setup zone shapes boom and then you can see that if i search for mass spawner i can simply open up the count and put this to be around you know like 100 maybe and then the entity type will be the one that we have by default 
Um, so we have one from Modern City. So let's go ahead and select this one. And then for the last thing that we need to do is to open up the data generator and put this to be the zone graph and then make sure that everything is set by default and the tag is gonna be CDBLD. Again, I just speed through all this because this is mainly just a showcase. I also just switch off levels a bit easier to showcase this. And now as you can see, when I press simulate, we have all of this AI spawning using mass AI in Unreal, which is insane. I literally made this in what, like 15 seconds because I had to explain things. I mean, <laughs> this is amazing. Of course, you can swap all the civilians with your own characters and everything like that. And that's it, guys. If you want to check out this amazing revolutionary plugin, the link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel and check out all my Unreal Engine 5 tutorials. Now, yes, and now, yes, with all I said, bye bye.